Okay, so today we're in Poland and we're in Poznan. We're going to be taking a steam train of all things to a place called Wolsztyn. Uh, here behind us we have some uh, typical examples of Polish trains, which is most of the network is electric. Oh, only English? Yeah. Oh, okay, fantastic. There's fantastic. no problem. <laughs> Whereabouts are you from? Me, I'm well, originally from Australia. I live in Switzerland. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm Steve. Nice to meet you, Tony. Here we are today in Poznan Central. We're going to be catching this steam train, which is actually a regular service. It runs every day from here in Poznan to Boston. So we've just been chatting with the drivers and the crew and uh, they're telling us that this is actually a regular service. So every day you can catch this train and go backwards and forwards to the railway museum at Volstion. This is one of the only trains in the world, one of the only steam trains in the world that runs regular everyday service. You can buy a normal ticket, just jump on this train and away you go. There's no special tickets required, nothing. So what a beautiful thing Poland has set up. That's a great thing for tourism. direction and the trains here can only pass at the station yeah and this is why they're so short everything here is still done mechanically like all these levers and switches are operated by a person I don't know that uh, you can see them in the like station buildings and like this one is like remote control yeah but there's still people required to but not everywhere. Not everywhere, no, no, no. Not, not everywhere. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's still popular in view in Poland. Yeah. But they are trying to change it because uh, there are some accidents where people are dying because some someone falls asleep or something like that. And they are trying to change it. <laughs> Well guys, have a look where we are today. We're on a steam train in Poland heading to a place called Austin. So, uh, thought you'd check it out. This is actually a regular passenger service. One of the only few ones left in the world where there's a regular steam train every day. So people can just hop on and uh, go about their business. And this train, very interesting, and yet we can't even get tourism back in SA. Okay, so we just reached Volston here with the steam train. It's a really, really nice experience. Really nice ride. We had 18 stops in between. Now we're going to go check out the Volston Hochong train workshops. One of the coolest things about this place is it's a fully functioning steam roundhouse. It's got everything here still operates. So we've got three locomotives that still steam up and take the trains. We're going to have a bit of a look around and see what we can find here in this roundhouse at Boston. Because we're in Europe, they have a lot of snow, so this is one of the unique things, it's a bit different to Australia. You don't actually need a snow plow to get back home, but they do have them here in Europe and they do get used.
What do you think? Um, I'm sure that you take there. Yeah. Because I, I am too afraid to. Too take afraid. There. Yeah. I used to be afraid, and then I'm not anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I have no fear. Beautiful Helena. Yeah. Um, Piankni Helena. Uh, on the other side you have in Polish, this lake. So here is beautiful Helena and on the other side is Piankna Helena. It really is very cool how you can actually walk through the working museum here where they're actually fixing the locomotives. They've got the main driving rods and all that sort of stuff here for the wheels that have come off this locomotive. And one of the sets of driving wheels have been dropped out. You'll see here there's a special jig made up where the wheels have dropped down and gone sideways and they're working on them to fix probably the bearings or something in there I would imagine. It's very cool. This is a regular passenger service, so every day this train runs. Every day, just on the public railway. Crazy. Yeah.